if you're there. All right, call me back, all right? Because I don't know if you went to Bo and turned yourself in or not, because when he came home last night, he didn't say anything. So I've been worried sick. I just don't know if everything's all right, okay? And I'm worried about it, too. All right? Why are you so worried about Al? Oh. Good morning. Hi. Bo, my problems with Al are insignificant compared to what you've been going through. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm dealing with you. You've been at the station night and day for the past, I don't know how many weeks. I haven't had a chance to tell you how sorry I am about your brother. Thank you. It means a lot. How are you doing, really? I'm working, uh, trying to stay busy. Is there anything I can do to help? You already are. It's just nice that I don't have to be alone right now. Gotta get to the office. Yeah. I'll get it. Hello. Hi, Mom. Hi. Everything worked out. Everything's changed. Al? You, uh... Can you believe it? I'm out of trouble. Al, you didn't say good morning to both. Commissioner. Hi. I, uh... I didn't see you standing there. That's okay. I was just leaving anyway. Sounds like you and your mom need some privacy. Thank you, Bo. See you later. Do you think you knew what I was talking about? I don't know. I, I don't think you said fire. No, no, you know what? You're right. I didn't. I didn't say it. Woo! Man, we really dodged the bullet on that one, huh? Al, what the hell is going on? The last time I saw you, Jen was going to turn you in and you were going to go and confess to Bo. And then I didn't hear anything and now you're telling me you're in the clear. What's happened? Everything has changed, Mom. <gasps> Jen and I are together. See, I told you it would happen. I told you I was the right guy for How her. How on earth is that possible after everything Last done? night was so amazing. You know, you were right. Life really can change in a split second. I, mean, I have everything I ever wanted. <laughs> Jen doesn't love Christian anymore. Not after what he did to her with Natalie. And you wouldn't have helped her to this conclusion, would you? No. That's the beauty part. I didn't have to do anything. It took longer than I thought it would, but she finally realized that I love her more than Christian Vega ever could. Charlene, you tried to trick her into marrying you, and then you set her house on fire. Whose side are you on? Yours. I just don't want to see you get hurt. Hurt? I'm happy, Mom. I'm happier than I have ever been my entire life. Well, you have to admit, this is a bit sudden. What? Mom, who cares? Look, Jen finally realizes why I did all that crazy stuff, and she knows about Christian and Natalie. So she just decided to turn to you for comfort? Yeah, because I am the only person in the world she can really trust, and she knows that. You damn near killed the girl, and she knows about it. So how forgiving could she possibly be? Then why can't you ever just be happy for me? Look, I'm happy. Be happy for me. I would love to be happy because you're happy, but I don't trust that she can take care of your feelings. Bo, you don't give a damn about my feelings. The only thing you care about is what's going on between you and Bo. This has nothing to do with me and Bo. Get real. Oh, for heaven's sake, I am worried and concerned about you. No. You wanted me to turn myself in so you could have a clean slate with your roommate. If that were the case, then I would have turned you in myself, dear mate, because then I would have got some real points. Would you stop doing this? Don't put it on me. Remember, you're the one that committed this crime. Yes, okay, I remember. It worked out, though. For the moment. I don't trust Jen's change of heart. And I'm awfully glad that she didn't turn you in, though. Whoa, what happened? Well, you were all gung-ho about me turning myself in before. Before the reality sank in that you would be in prison. I was up all last night worried sick because I didn't know whether you had confessed to Bo or not because I didn't hear anything. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't have time to call. I had a lot going on last night. You do know Statesville is hell on earth, don't you? You do know that. And do you know that prison can destroy people? You know that. Yes, Mom, I do. I know that. Trust me. You don't have to worry about me anymore. I'm never going to do any of that crazy stuff anymore. Not, not for Jen, not for anyone. I mean, look, I have Jen now. What else do I need? A few hundred prayers that Bo never finds out what you did. 
Hey, are you still here? Yeah, but uh, I was just on my way out the door. Well, you don't have to leave on my account. You know, you're always welcome here. Well, I uh, have some things I need to take care of anyway. Yeah, I was just trying to explain to my mom here that uh, I'm finally happy. I wish she'd believe me. So long, guys. See you. so happy and you look so miserable. All I want is for my son to be happy and now that he is, I'm just worried something's going to come along and destroy it. You Cannon? That's great. That's good work. Yeah, thanks. No, I'll call you back. Good news? Yeah, we just got a break on a case. Wow, which one? The Rappaport arson. You know, the one that put Jen in the hospital. Oh. Yeah, it was the lab. They found something. And with any luck at all, we'll be able to prove who's responsible. On the next One Life to Live. This guy that set the fire at the Rappaport's made a big mistake. I read your, uh, your slam on Rex in the paper. Is that what happened with you two? It's gotta be hard trying to get over him. I want to know what's going on, and I want to know now.